Hello everybody and welcome to Behind the Shots. My name is Pete Nike and I'm a wildlife photographer and in this series we're going to be looking at some of my favorite wildlife photographs. So let's get into it. So this is the photograph we're going to be looking at today. One of my favorites actually. So this is a photo that I took in Monterey Bay in California which is pretty widely renowned as an awesome hotspot for marine life, particularly cetaceans, that's whales and dolphins. So I worked there for about a year as, well, as a, as a naturalist on board the boat. So I was doing the commentary and, and teaching people all about whales. Then I was also doing a lot of photography and, uh, and videography for the company. Now this shot, I actually took this, um, technically I wasn't employed uh, uh, when, when I took this shot. So um, we took this on my last boat ride uh, with the crew. What happened was we were shut down because of um, uh, local regulations uh, with tourists coming out on boats that started when the COVID-19 pandemic came through. And uh, I had to return back home to New Zealand because uh, no job and my visa was running out soon. So uh, what we did was me and a couple of the crew, we went out on one last whale watching expedition and it was a pretty awesome day. So have a look at the photo here. And what we're going to see is, first of all, in the foreground, we've got a nice big group of California sea lions. There's actually, I think that's a northern fulmar, that little bird sitting kind of towards the front. Obviously, behind the sea lions, we have a nice big humpback whale showing its tail, uh, fluking up as it's going down for a dive. Above that, there's some sort of gull, probably a juvenile gull flying in the air and we have clouds and hills in the background. So this day, uh, it, was, it was really, really crazy calm weather. I look at the photos, pretty much, pretty much glass out. This is nearly the calmest you can see it in Monterey Bay. We had spotted on the horizon quite a few different blows in every sort of direction as we were leaving the harbor. We just kind of pick, picked a group of blows and we headed to it. Uh, the blow is the, um, you know, the when the whale exhales, all the water coming up. So we pull up to the spot and there is about, I think there were three or four humpback whales feeding in a quite a large group of California sea lions. Now you've got these two species and they're feeding on the same food source that is the uh, anchovies or sardines or just, just some sort of small little bait fish. And they're both kind of uh, working just to eat as much as possible. When they're in a big school, uh, the whales can just come up and take a giant mouthful quite easily and if they're scattering to sort of avoid that that makes it easier for the sea lions to get in so you've got sea lions coming at you from one side you've got the humpback whales coming at you there there's going to be a, a larger predatory fish involved in the mix and then the seabirds coming down from top so a really big true feeding frenzy now what you see when you're on the boat uh, you don't see any of the action obviously it's all underwater well that's not exactly true. Most of the action you don't see because it's underwater. So what happens is the sea lions will go down and then the humpback whales will go down. And when they're down underneath, they're just going crazy. They're, they're hunting, uh, they're biting, they're eating, they're snacking. And you see not, you don't really see much of that unless it's right up on the surface, which on this day it wasn't, you're not really going to see too much of that, but they are mammals. They do need to breathe air. So eventually, they will pop back up and generally what happens is the sea lions will return to the surface first. So the sea lions are going to return to the surface and it's going to get your attention because you've got 50, 100, 200, 300 sea lions all up on the surface. You put your attention there and that is where the whales are going to come up as well because they're all feeding on the same school. So what had happened when I took this photograph, the sea lions had popped up on one side of the boat. I turn around with my camera and the whales come up too. I had zoomed into about 400 millimeters for the first few shots, got a few close-ups on the whales, and then I pulled out, I pulled back to 100 millimeters uh, for, for this shot here, uh, because I really like the wide, uh, I really like the wide kind of view of this thing. So my one of my favorite things in photography is layers. So I like having, I've got this nice foreground layer, which is your, your sea lines here, calls the, um, your sea lines here form, that foreground layer. Then you've got your subject, which is the humpback whale's tail. The humpback whale is fluking up. And then you've got an extra layer here, which is that background, which are those clouds up the top. So you've got the hills on the horizon line as well. Those are the hills of uh, Santa Santa Cruz? One of the, it's been too long, I don't remember the geography of the place. But so, um, I really like this image because it gives me a nice sort of layered image 
and it includes multiple different facets of that ecosystem of that feeding frenzy. Now for um, uh, the, the technical aspects of this photo, it was shot at ISO 320, F 4.5 at 1 4,000th of a second. Usually I'm actually shooting at 1 3200th of a second. Uh, I don't know what made me, uh, I can't remember why this one's at 1 400th. It honestly might have just been my finger slipping or maybe I purposefully pulled it up to 1 400th to photograph some of that speed that the sea lions are jumping around at because when you've got water splashing, when you've got sea lions jumping up and down, whales running all around, it's, it's, it's not going to kill you just to have a little bit of extra speed from your shutter. ISO 320 just to account for that nice quick shutter speed and that aperture there is my lens just wide open. Uh, let's have a look at the gear that I shot this with. So I just used my normal camera to shoot this. This is my uh, Canon 7D Mark II paired with a 100 to 400 millimeter lens. So if you like this photograph and if you'd like to purchase it for um, digital download or for uh, hanging up on your wall or for any marketing or commercial purposes it is available on my photo store that is wildboypete.pickfair.com and I'll include a link to that in the description as well. Uh, yeah. So this is my photograph of the humpback whale and sea lions feeding frenzy. I have a horrible habit of not really naming my photographs. I know a lot of photographers will give their one a name. It just doesn't have a name. If you can think of a name, just comment below. Give me a name for this photograph. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Behind the Shots. There will be more of these coming out where I discuss a whole, whole giant variety of different photographs I've got of wildlife over the year. If you like the series, please, uh, please like, please subscribe, share it with any wildlife-minded friends, and we'll see you next time.